Hi everybody. Happy Tuesday. So today I'm actually going to do a kind of a little bit of a retake of something that I tried to do a couple weeks ago and I was sitting outside and all the cars kept coming by and when Sarah listened back it was very distracting. So we're going to hope uh, that we are okay. A siren did just go by as we are in the front foyer of the church which this is called our narthex and it's the place that people come to be greeted before going into worship. So, hello, and welcome to our chat for Tuesday. So I was thinking um, this week about how we all get aggravated and frustrated. And many of the things that we get aggravated and frustrated about in the spectrum of life are really nothing. So we're expending a lot of energy over stuff that when we look at the big, big picture, it doesn't mean much of anything. So I'm going to say, when you start feeling aggravated, when you start feeling frustrated with things in your life, be it a family member who isn't doing things that you would like them to do, be it workers who aren't doing their part to keep the work mode moving along in your job, don't fret over it. Do your job. In your family, take a deep breath and think about what you say before you say it. Because many times we say something that we wish we hadn't said. When we're angry or frustrated or hurting, and then we realize afterwards that we said something that we really should not have said. Because not only did it affect ourselves, but it also affected the person who was on the receiving end of our not too nice comment. If you're getting aggravated, walk away from a situation, take a deep breath, maybe even say a quick prayer, Lord, Calm my mind, calm my heart, help me choose the right words to say so that I won't hurt someone's feelings. But in the same respect, allow me to say it so that they will understand what they've done that made me feel uncomfortable or upset, but in a nice and caring way. Because when we say it out of anger and frustration, sometimes we say things that we don't really mean just because we're angry and frustrated. So today I'm going to say, take a breath. Just take a breath right now. Whatever you're doing in life, just take a nice deep breath and hold it and count to five. And see if you've started to calm down from whatever was frustrating you during this day or this moment. If it didn't work, take another breath and hold it for five more seconds. You know, my mom was a master at this. She would say, if you're frustrated, take a breath and count to 10. And if you're not starting to calm down, take another breath, count to 10. And keep doing it until all of a sudden that immediate frustration and anger is leaving your spirit, is leaving your mind, is leaving your energy so that you can have a good energy about you. Because part of what we're called to do as Christians is to be the good energy in every situation. And I know sometimes it's difficult, but let's do our best to be the good energy. Let's do our best to think before we speak. Let's do our best to be kind and loving to one another in all matters, in all ways that we possibly can. That's all for today, folks. Have an amazing day, and I wish God's blessing on you, and I love you all.